Hello, Innisville. It is Tuesday, June the 30th. June the 30th, the year's half over. Boy, time is just flying by right now. But I know for some of you, you're kind of wishing for 2020 to be over, but let's not wish the summer weather away that quickly. Um, I want to tell you a little bit about uh, our emergency control group meeting this morning. We met uh, and went over um, activities from the last weekend. We had an issue at Innisville Beach Park on Sunday between, I think, 3.30 and 5, where we had to not allow any more cars in the park uh, for that period of time, Be just because of overcrowding, not the whole park overcrowding. It's a big park, but of course, everybody wants to be on the sand and the beach area. So we're doing what we always have been doing since the beginning of COVID is we are monitoring and listening to the staff that were working that weekend, taking suggestions from residents. Uh, I've been chatting with uh, other mayors because uh, this is not an Innisfil issue. It's an, Innis it's an issue in every municipality and on far, far more than Ontario. I know there's a little town just north of Montreal that's going through what we're going through too. But uh, listening to them and talking to what's working and what's not working in those places, and of course our health unit, we always uh, go to Dr. Gartner, our medical officer of health, to get best advice from him too. So, and then we adapt. So you'll see some new rules. Uh, there'll be changes coming. Watch out for the messaging. We're trying to find that right balance. We want to be able to keep this amenity open. We truly do, but we have to make sure uh, we are safe. Uh, so you'll see the same as far as uh, resident only parking, you'll have to prove residency to get into Ennisville Beach Park. You will uh, need to be a resident in order to park anywhere within uh, walking distance of the park or the shoreline. Uh, and we will continue our um, enforcement of all those areas. So stay tuned for new messaging on that. And the other thing I want to talk about today is the Innisfil 2000 birthday cake contest. So if you saw on Facebook, there was 20 entries. They were all pretty awesome. It was a really hard choice. I want to thank Beatrice Mueller, who uh, is from Innisfil and is award-winning. She won the uh, holiday showdown gingerbread from the Food Network, a uh, big competition. And she's just an amazing baker and talented person. And the winner of this contest will actually either get a cake or a baking lesson from Beatrice. So with no further ado, uh, I will announce that the winner is Lauren and Elizabeth Diab. Congratulations. It's a beautiful cake. It's actually of Lake Simcoe. It's got the, the uh, water and the sand and a little Lake Simcoe sun and an Innisfil flag. It's really, it was really quite a creative piece. So thank you for that. An honorable mention also goes to Jade Basford and Wendy Briggs. And again, thank you to Beatrice for helping me judge. It was a very tough decision uh, and frustrating that I wasn't able to taste any of these gorgeous entries. Uh, the only other thing I wanted to say is tomorrow's Canada Day, and I hope you all get a chance to celebrate uh, with friends and family, but apart, and uh, continue your social distancing. And uh, if you're looking for something virtually to do, I think the uh, Canada.ca forward slash Canada Day. I think there's a full day of programming and fireworks and things there. And also tonight, if you're looking for something fun to do, there's an I Love Canada trivia contest with the Innisfil Idea Lab and Library. So happy Canada Day, everyone. And we'll talk again tomorrow.